Hi everyone, welcome back to my video. Hi, <laughs> I'm back. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it's been a very long time, almost a year. Um, I just wanted to say I did not mean to go away for this long. When I initially wanted a break, I thought it would be like a week or two because it's always been like that, you know, like, oh, you know, like, I'm kind of tire tired of filming, I'll take a break and after like a week I'm like oh I'm ready to film again but this time just I think I was just really burnt out I was just really wanted a break but I don't I guess I don't I guess a lot of people don't know but I wasn't just resting I wasn't not doing anything I was full-time working so I've been busy with that so I think that's why it took me longer to come back because you know I was busy and I was really just focused on my current job so i'm sorry i know a lot of you guys have um reached out to me and i think i like posted like a short notice a couple months ago that i will be back and you know obviously i meant it i just didn't know when I, like i wanted to be ready like you know i didn't want to give you a date that i'll be back by and if i wasn't ready to come back then you know i just kind of like lost for both of us you and me right so that's why i did i couldn't i couldn't give you guys a specific date to come back um but i could surely tell you that i am back and i'm very excited to be back with cookbang yes you know i love cookbangs um i just i don't know i just i mean you know what to be honest though this will be a good reason for me to start cooking more because ever since like like the covid happened and like i just i just stayed home i didn't go anywhere and like you know i'm working from home i didn't go anywhere i always deliver food <laughs> um um so i the busier i got from work i'm just like you know i'm just gonna order like i was just so lazy to cook um so maybe this would be a good opportunity to start cooking again um i know you guys might have more questions where what i have been doing and you know stuff i guess stuff that that happened past eight months that i was not on youtube or instagram so i will talk as i go but today happy new year by the way oh my goodness crazy um uh, happy new year's guys i know 2020 was tough for everybody but um 2021 will be great um i just want to say happy new year's uh, i hope you guys are excited to start a brand new year with me start fresh right so every new year's koreans eat this dish called takuk or um rice soup rice cake soup honestly i can't even call this cooking because it's so so easy <laughs> so if you don't have this you don't have to use it you could just use, use plain water but i'm going to use beef one beef bone flavored soup stock so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just use one pack look how creamy that looks okay and then i don't need it to be completely like too creamy so i'm going to replace or like fill it up with plain water let's see i think that's good yeah i think that's good and i'm going to boil it and only thing to prep for this uh, soup is you would you want to keep the rice cake in water so when i don't do this my rice cakes um don't cook on time or they like, they're still like really hard to chew so i like to put it keep it in the water before i cook it or before I put it in the soup and get your tangmyeon or vermicelli this glass noodles ready uh, I kept it in hot water I don't have to boil it necessarily because I want to boil it in here so I just keep it in hot water let them kind of like soak up the water so it cooks up fast and they're soft to eat and another thing to prepare is of course dumplings so I got a bag of frozen dumplings that's supposed to look like this but look what I found you know what this means? This means this year is going to be different. It's going to be good. <laughs> and I really like toppings. I like different toppings. Uh, I just want it to look like messy as possible. So I'm going to use ses seaweed paper. So that this has been marinated in sesame oil and salt. And I like to top it with some kimchi. So I diced mine very, very thin, like small into small pieces. I chopped it really well. All I have to do is probably season this, but sometimes, so, so 
they do sell different types of beef bone stock from different companies. Some of them come seasoned, some of them don't. Okay, I think this one's like slightly seasoned. So I'm going to go get a salt. You could season it with soy sauce, but it's going to kind of like ruin that, that, that creamy broth. So I recommend salt. No, I literally ate like two hours ago. Is it two? Almost three hours ago and I'm like still hungry. <laughs> Um, but I did, oh my gosh, so I don't know how you got your Christmas and um, Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's were, but like, man, I let go of myself a lot. <laughs> uh, for the past two weeks, I just like ate, I just laid down, watched TV, that's all I did, and drank. <laughs> um, ooh, this is really cool. It's like, it shows you like every bubble that's boiling. That's pretty cool. So I'm just going to wait until it completely boils. Um, I'm going to season a little bit right now. I'm going to grab some salt. And then some black pepper. You could add this a little later, but it doesn't really matter. It's boiling! So first thing first things first. Ooh, the test is good. Um I'm going to add my rice cakes. I'm going to lower it a little bit. Ta da! Okay, my hands are gonna. Ah, tiga! Okay. I feel like I'm like making some kind of potion. <laughs> Is my house cold? Huh, I don't know. I mean, I usually keep it cold because of Ame. But this year, actually, I shaved them a lot. Ugh, I guess you guys haven't seen him in a while, but he's good. He's doing good. I did shave him like a lion. Like, not too short because it's, it's still winter, but I'm planning to keep it short all year around because, like, I think it's. I was afraid that he might be stressed because he has so much hair, but now it's like half of it is gone. But he seems like he's loving it, so I'm gonna keep it short so my house doesn't have to be that cold all the time. So it's been so good. He sleeps with us in our bed, and yeah, it's just really, really cute. So I guess you guys will see him soon, hopefully. And then I'm going to add some dumplings. Oh, I think I'm gonna have too much. Two, three, four, I'll add this one, five, six. This much. Oh, I think this is good. Okay, I'm going to that much. And then, should I taste? Mm, I think I need a little bit more salt. And we're going to add the noodles. So I want to say like, oh you guys, I'm back and like I'm so much more mature and like grown up now but I wish I could say that but I don't know, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean there are a lot of things I thought about while I was gone, you know, I worked on myself and like, you know, like, like physical health, my mental health and all that. I think it was a good break. I mean, although I was working still, I wasn't like on a vacation or anything but just being away from everything, like I cut off all the social media, everything, like I was... Like, I was watching a lot of TV, but really was focused on myself, and it was really, really good. You know, I um, learned more about myself. Um, I think I'm more, I'm more clear what kind of person I want to be or I am or, like, how stuff that I want to accomplish and, like, things I want, things that interest me. I think it became a little more clear now. I accepted a lot of, a lot of part about myself that I never liked before, so... Yeah, it was a it was a good time for me. Okay. Oh, I think this is a little too much, but let's add a little bit of the glass noodles. Yes. Ooh. That was good. I think this is good because I don't think they'll. like 
two o'clock, and it's so dark outside. Like, what is happening? This I, I know winters obviously winters are shorter, the winter days are shorter, but like this year, I just feel so much. I don't know, so like, so momentary. Like, oh, it's spread out. Oh, and then literally, you look, you look back outside. It's, oh, the sun's gone. Yeah, 2020 was just crazy. I really do hope that 2021 will um, just be a healthy year for, you know, us, for the world, for environment and all that, you know. Mm, this is good. I think it's almost done. Let me just try the glass noodles. Ooh, that's good. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Okay. Ooh, my goodness. I got two dumplings. I want lots of duck. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Okay. Oh, it's getting hot. I want my noodles. These are so yummy. Some kimchi. Oh yeah, I don't mind a lot of kimchi. You know, I should really like my mon like my dumplings kind of breaking apart. Cause I just mm. So you guys know I celebrated my, obviously, 
my birthday last year. Um, that's when I was still, <clears throat> you know, like not doing, not filming and all. I turned 30. And guess what? When I turned 30, I'm like, I wasn't sad or anything. I don't think anyone should be sad, but I just feel a little different. Like, like as I'm saying this as positive way as possible, possible, but I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> you know, it's just like stuff that bothered me so much before, like something that I felt insecure about. I'm like, I don't give a shit. Like, I am who I am. <laughs> I know that sounds like, oh, that's so cheesy and all that, but that's literally how I felt towards, like, end of last year and how I feel right now. And I don't know if that's something that I felt like, oh, I should be like this because I'm older now, older now, but I don't know. I think it's because I realized that my 20s went by so fast. Honestly, I don't even remember being a teen. good one thing that i was so hooked to in 2020 was dumplings oh my gosh i like literally ate dumplings every week i don't know what it was it's just i loved it I tried multiple times to film again, like vlog again, but there's so many clips that I just never decided to upload because, like, you know, like, I haven't watched any videos on YouTube, like, you know, ever since I decided to, like, you know, take a break. I didn't watch it, other people's mukbang, nothing. I was not on YouTube. If anything, it was just, like, very momentarily. So I'm like, Am I supposed to follow the trend? I don't even know the trend anymore, but um, but like I tried like thinking of coming up with something that is trendy right now. But then I thought about like why do I want to start filming again? Like is it because I want to make more money or to be really transparent with you guys, like, do I just want to follow the trend and, like, hopefully I can get up there again, like, make a lot of money, or I might start, am I gonna start filming again because I want to? Like, do I, would I really enjoy the content that I'm going to film and upload? I was like searching, filming, 
practicing and I realized that I just really like cookbang also <laughs> I like watching it like I sometimes I really like watching my own videos <laughs> like I was looking back at my old videos where I was cooking like ridiculous things in the bedroom I don't want to forcefully eat a lot anymore if I can't yeah so like what can I do like what am I actually like good at at the same time or like decent at I guess and you know I have you know when and like went around went in a circle and like I was looking back a lot of stuff and like I really really enjoy cookbooks You know, growing up, I think that is one thing that always stuck to me was, you know, you should, of course, you should do something with your life that you want and you love, but at the same time, if you want to be successful with it, you have to do something you're good at. Like, you know, so like, I think, um, I think that's like one of the reasons why I decided to just kind of like, I don't know, maybe like some people like was expecting like something like really crazy different and um, something like some like completely out of the out of my zone. I don't know, maybe they people were expecting something like really crazy when they came back. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or maybe that's something that I thought what people would expect that. Oh, she's been gone for so long. I, she, like, you know, like, what if I can't meet their expectations when I was taking such a long break? Maybe I need to come up with something crazy to kind of, like, you know, like, I don't know, to make it worth a wait. Like, I don't want to say that it was really hard for me to come back. It wasn't. That's why I took the break as long as I needed and when I was ready I'll be 100% ready to film again Mm. another perk of me cooking I guess is I've been eating so unhealthy or like the perks of me filming again and sharing recipes with you guys is I've been eating so unhealthy lately because, like, I was just so lazy. I don't want to cook anything. I always, like, my first choice was, like, instant food, fast food. At least when I have the time to film and cook, let's eat somewhat healthy. Not McDonald's or Burger King or Taco Bell or not even cup noodles. (laughs) And I even thought about vlogging again, like after work, what I eat. I tried it for like two days. I'm like, I literally eat the same thing. <laughs> and this is not fun. I want to grab my... A little awkward, but I'm going to just eat like this because I'm getting uncomfortable. You know what I mean? I guess another thing people were assuming about me is I think this was a majority like I saw a lot of this comment is that I will come back with a baby or like I'm either pregnant or I have a baby next to me like I'm sorry to disappoint you guys but we're not pregnant I don't, I used to be, like, anti-babies. <laughs> like, I, like, not that I hated other kids, but I just didn't want my own. And right, 
my friends actually it's crazy because my friends are either pregnant right now or they they already had a baby and it's kind of starting it started to change my mind like oh maybe having a kid won't be so bad um and i think that's because they're or well, the friend that just had a baby like such a good baby like because like, I, it, it was really hard for me to when a baby was crying it was just really hard for me in a lot of different ways um not that it was like i don't want to say it was annoying but just like oh like how would i handle this if handle this if i had a baby it's like a trauma kind of i guess <laughs> um so i think that's one of the reasons why like i don't i didn't feel com- like confident to have a baby but like my friends babies they're so cute like they don't cry <laughs> they do their thing and just sleep but I think Tung and I, like, this is something Tung and I talked about a lot, was baby. Like, are we having a baby or not? In the beginning, we're like, no, let's not have a baby. Let's just be just both of us and just kind of grow old together. And we had another phase where, like, oh, we need to get pregnant. You know, like, I want a baby. I want a kid that looks like you and me. And yeah, who's going to take care of us when we're older? That, you know, like, so we wanted to have a baby for a little bit but now we're like hey whatever happens happens like if you don't have a baby we or if, you know like we can't have a baby it is what it is if somehow we get pregnant it is what it is so we if we didn't want to stress about it in either you know with either choices I think that's the way to go. Don't stress about things. I tell to him all the time. You know, being stressed over stress won't solve your stress. <laughs> that's literally, I think I lived by that last year. Because last year, you know, one of my goals last year was I'm going to work really hard. I'm going to work a lot. I'm going to work very hard, and it will be my priority. And the more it became my priority, and, like, my respons- I got more responsibilities at work, I think, like, I think I started to get stressed out a lot. Or, like, I was starting, like, I wasn't stressed out. Like, I was starting to get stressed. I'm like, I do not want to stress over work. Like, I mean, work is very important. It's, you know, feeding me. It's um, keeping roof over my head. But, you know, it's... I don't know, it's not something, like, I don't want, because I just wanted to live a happy, free spirit life, and if I, I really didn't want anything like that to stress me. So I always think, like, I, like, always catch myself, oh, I have to do this at work, and, like, oh, my God, like, what if I can't do this right kind of thing? I'm like, no, there's, I'm not going to stress about it. No, I'm going to be relaxed and comfortable, and I think that's why my 2021 was, in a way, like, and I think that was my motto last year and it's going to be my motto this year as well No, I had to cook yesterday. Because I was with my family.
Mm. Yeah. I was saying, even though I had it yesterday, I'm having it today, and it was still delicious. I think there's something... It'll just never get old. Crazy. I love Korean food. <laughs> And that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm excited to film more. There's more to come. I'm excited to see you guys again. Leave me lots and lots of positive comments. Um, let me know how your 2020 was. Let me know how your 2021 is going to be. Um, or like what you're planning to do, I guess. I am actually excited to share parts of my life with you guys again. And um, I hope you guys are excited as well. Let's keep each other accountable, right? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more future videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Happy New Year, guys. Bye.